we going to learn about paste special the last we have learned that how to put uh, uh, these uh, paste special in formulas okay it is in recording you will see that you will uh, understand that how we have done that then the next thing we do transpose transpose you know what is transpose transpose uh, suppose if you want to change your cells can you what is that can you type it down uh, uh, you will see in few minutes okay yeah. I, I, just, uh, uh -huh. I just copy my data and uh, where I want to paste it I choose paste special and then I use this option transpose okay I check it okay Transpose. Okay. okay. When I press OK, so I'll find that my data which were in columns now pasted in rows. Okay. The name was which were in a column now are in rows. And now again I copy this thing. Well, uh, means converting data horizontal to vertical, vertical to again horizontal. You can use transpose. Got it? Yeah, what did you do the last step? Last step? Uh, just I have done OK. I just copied the data and okay. right click, paste special, transpose okay. and OK. Uh, OK. OK. So uh, this will just convert your data uh, from vertical to horizontal, horizontal to vertical, what you uh, as you want. Okay. This data. Okay. Then okay. So, sometimes we need to uh, let's begin with this example. Sometimes I found that uh, earlier I have shown you this example that I need to add the data, but suppose I have a list and I had done audit that there should be value of 65 instead of 12 there should be value of 35 instead of 25 and there we will put 70 and here I will put 50 this value is now to be replaced so if you are good at formula then you can do but it is a tricky process also so what formula I will do it is not about the formula it is about paste special so if you don't understand formula, no matter, we will make you understand after uh, in our uh, further classes. So the uh, the formula I will put that C2, this reference, equal to um, blank, if, if formula. This okay. is called if formula. I will make you understand after that because the, the formula level, when we reach to formula level, then we discuss about this. I just uh, All right. uh, make you understand that what mostly people do in this situation. So mm -hmm. I I have a question that I have to replace these values with this one. Okay. So what mostly people do, they apply a formula, but the most intelligent people do this by this way. So if my C2 has blank values, means th uh, if they has blank values, then what they need to do? Uh, if it is blank then uh, the value should be given off from this cell otherwise from this one cell where we have 65 so when I drag this uh, formula so I find that the result what I want it is here now then for removing formula what I will do control C copy then select this and go uh, right click paste special then I paste values to replace the data so now and now my pur purpose is getting solved but why to follow this long procedure why don't we directly copy and paste this because when we copy this thing and when we want to paste on this surface so what we find that the data is copied here but the blank values also get pasted here okay where there is no yeah. value that is also get pasted here so th that was our problem if the blank values uh, uh, is not pasted there then my purpose will be solved 
okay so i will right click i just copy the data by same way right click and go to paste special and here i have a option of skip blanks skip blanks yeah uh, when we, i click on skip blanks and press okay what happened the blanks will be skipped from the data only right. the values uh, only the cells which are containing values will be pasted here okay mm -hmm. yeah so uh, this is the powerful method and the fastest method uh, uh, of paste special which we use mostly so uh, uh, whatever i am trying to tell you is only about copy paste okay so yeah. we, we can do so much good things with our copy paste option only so uh, uh, yeah let's now, uh, just we summarize we summarize this we uh, like today we talked about trans transpose transpose and skip blanks skip blanks then sometimes what we do we link our values with excel what we do for that we press equal to then we select a cell okay okay when we select a cell so we can see the cell value is referred here when i oh, cha yeah. change this uh, cell value this value will also be uh, get i see okay mm -hmm. so i have a method to create linked cell that i can drag this data so rest of the cells is there i can drag down this data all the data is here now and but i see uh, but but uh, there is a problem i can also apply co from copy and i can apply formats also so there will be no problem about date and number formatting and i can also provide this column width here so i can adjust the width but with small data we can do this step about dragging uh, the cell but when we have a large data we will be frustrated about uh, to what extent i want to drag the data because i don't know the limit i need to see the sheet again and again for creating these type of links so this is the problem and when we are talking about time saving it is the uh, uh, this option is not right so what is the fastest way to create links so you just copy the data copy this data where you want to paste you can uh, choose the cell then go to paste special and here you have a button paste link okay paste link okay uh, so the paste link will paste exact link of the data then i will paste formats column width so i have I exact see. data to uh, put here when i change the value of anything i find that there is change also okay so this mm -hmm. yes. this is a linked value but that's it in excel what happens uh, this method was followed in ancient time now it's uh, <laughs> uh, now this time is not compatible for these options because this is a time for dashboards and dashboards a lot of formatting is there but uh, the formatting uh, in excel you know that if you want to do it something you have to play with rows and column setting so yeah. the format ca can't be all right all the time and the dashboard is, is a kind of thing where you can show your data uh, show your all companies data in just a single sheet so you uh, need to manage lot of formatting so how it is possible with excel so what is the fastest way for doing that and what is the good way for doing that so that we can save our space also and manage our data this data is uh, consuming this much space suppose i want to uh, put this data in excel uh, in this area only so is it possible 
it is not possible at all yeah so how we do that i just select this data and copy this data and in home tab there is a button called paste and there is a arrow yeah. sign here so when yeah. i press this arrow sign i will find lot of option paste formula paste values no border transpose paste link paste special and paste as hyperlink a lot of options are here <laughs> then mm -hmm. there is a as picture so okay. i have copied the data as picture paste as picture so it will create right. a picture here so in picture what we have option we can resize our pictures towards size we know and if we from uh, view tab if we disable uncheck this grid lines so no one can understand that how you have created that nobody will know about that th this is a picture but we are talking about links and dashboard that uh, dynamically changes the data because if i am changing data it is of no use when it, it is direct uh, it is not updating so this picture is waste then what yeah. should i do now i just copy this data again and go to home tab this arrow again as pictures and the last option paste picture link yes it is a okay. picture but it need not to be formatted all the time and if you change the formatting of existing sheet if it will immediately uh, show you the changes also oh that's perfect so it is a linked picture so whenever i change anything there in the original yes. cells it will be <coughs> it will in the picture that's good yes it will change all things you can see here so the, that's how the dashboards are created <coughs> it is the secrets of the dashboard okay. so uh, whatever i told you this is all about paste special the copy paste option yes okay yeah Yes. So, uh, this much things you can do with paste special. Now my paste special. Really uh, uh, yes. Now my paste special class is over, and next thing we, uh, I want that uh, I will give you the recordings of that uh, uh, for this recording and the earlier one also. So uh, you practice that, and I want that you practice a uh, well. Then we will start our next. class okay yeah sure because if i uh, i am keep telling you all the things you will not be able to practice that i want that you practice side by side with my instructions okay yeah. so yes i will you will be uh, able to uh, make dynamic sheets after completion the course because what happens sometimes i am uh, providing training to 